Yeah, I'm like that. <laughs> Anyways, hello everyone! I just really, really, really wanted to talk about Fallen Kingdom. Yeah, cause uh, I'm not, not a fan. No, I didn't go out of my way to get the free poster at my, uh, uh, my theater because yeah. oh. spoiler warning you've been warned spoiler warning okay okay I, I did take some notes because uh, I wanted to actually you know really talk about it and what I saw so imagine if you will darkness you're under in a tiny sub. Pin up. It's dark, but you can just make out the monoliths that, that make the doors to the past a different time. World, if I dare say. Now cut to the other members of this team. Cut among them to see what they are trying to do. Cut back to the dark depths. The light suddenly bouncing off mass behind them. Cut back to the others, not knowing, continuing their work, but the forest is moving. Another mess. Get out of there! Will they all make it to the chopper? One of the strongest openings that I've seen out of all of the films that we've had so far. I was on the edge of my seat. I mean, you know what's gonna happen, right? Right? But then somehow they make it a little bit different. I was... I was rather hooked. And I, I didn't go in expecting anything. Uh, it, also, to sort of premise this... I did not see the final trailer before watching the film. I'm so glad that I didn't. I can't believe that Hollywood thinks that it's okay to make these trailers that basically spoil the film. <sighs> and then they wonder why they have problems. Hollywood, don't do this. Because I've been doing it a long time. I saw something else. What did I see? Oh, I watched the original Jurassic Park trailer on the Blu-ray, and I went, oh, oh, that gives away quite a bit. I would have cut that completely different if, if I was better at the actual editing skills. Yeah, so the pacing of the film, this is so, so much faster than any of the other films. But it does give some time for the slower moments, because I do look for those. I actually have this weird thing that I've learned where you can uh, watch the film and sort of analyze it as a program in the background. <laughs> I watch a lot of movies. Uh, but because it was high-paced, it, it, I, I never had any moments where I go, where I went, uh, you know, looked at my watch to see what time it was. And that's sort of my indicator that I'm not, not completely there. And I don't, I don't recall doing that in this movie. I was always, I always felt that I was at least engaged enough. Uh, the music. Uh, I, I realize that the, the guy that's been doing these, whose name begins with a G, and I won't pronounce it because I'll probably pronounce it wrong. He's done the last two. And it, it, they're just not for me. They're not bad music by any means. It's just, it doesn't feel 
Jurassic Park enough. I know that's so hard, especially when you're trying to live up to John Williams. I mean, John Williams. I forgot to talk about the uh, the multiple themes with the Fallen Kingdom it, it, for its namesake. And I wanted to say very quickly that I figured out that it also meant Lockwood and the legacy. But yeah, so I just I wanted to make sure that that was in there because I did see it. Uh, of course, to me, it also means the having to do with the dinosaurs losing their island and us losing everything. And no, I didn't watch the button clip. My my brother did go back in and catch it. I had to use the restroom. This, but uh, yeah, so uh, like I like them throwing stuff in there, not making it completely obvious. But for anybody that's sort of got the eyes and ears and open to it. Can, can figure it out, so. Oh, then, then there were things like the villains, and I know, because, because I did actually watch three or four reviews before I even thought about doing this, they refer to them as cartoony, and they're villains in a Jurassic Park franchise? Not really that much has changed. And, and but like I don't know that it didn't it didn't bother me because I knew I I knew that they were you know you just you I mean it's a movie about dinosaurs right I mean last time I checked but I don't know I I kind of liked that weird humor element that was not only present in them, but also some of the scenes. And if you've seen the movie, you know exactly which scene I'm talking about. I actually really enjoyed that scene because they they set it up that he would be intelligent enough. I mean, come on. He knew to play dead. If you know how to play dead, you can certainly like smirk yeah I don't know. that's my opinion as we should all be entitled to just my observations but like I said the villains I I felt were interesting enough I I kind of liked that I well I thought that his intentions uh, Eli's intentions were clear from the get-go and I and I really like that due to Lockwood's condition that he didn't know about some of those things I know some people are saying well the you know the interruptors in the basement why didn't he hear that I don't know I mean like one would think that if he had any guests over, he would have some kind of soundproofing between the basement and the rest of the house. I know I'm assuming things, but I mean, that could be explained really easily. So the Indoraptor. Really neat concept. I'm so glad that from the, from the first first and maybe second trailer I was like this really looks like they're retreading Lost World I think it was Lost World like way too much so I'm glad that they scaled it back and don't don't get me wrong I like the callbacks because there are a ton of them I, I was constantly like keeping my eyes open for them things that reminded me of other scenes especially to the first one uh, kudos to them for invoking that, but still, you know, mixing it up a little. Um, specifically uh, when, oh, Maisie, hey, I remember her name, yeah, I'm getting better, uh, gets in the uh, the dumbwaiter and can't close the door right away. I was like, yeah, I see what you did there, movie. 
I like stuff like that, though. It, it makes you still feel connected and yet still trying to tell a different story. And I really think that this movie accomplished that. It told us a continuation, uh, a new section of this story. Uh, a lot of people hated it, and my, my brother didn't, didn't like it as much as he could have. He does recognize it as a decent film, but what, what he doesn't like is only half of it took place on the island. He likes the people being mixed up in the park, lost on the island. I get that. I, I totally get that. That's something that I like too, but I think more for me is, well, one, the dinosaurs. You show me lots of dinosaurs, but also give me an interesting story. You know, not Transformers. Then, you know, I'm, I'm pretty accepting of it, I've realized. So, yeah, 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 okay. Right, the, the Brachiosaurus. Yes, uh, we didn't have like a really full theater, which I was totally okay with. I, not that I don't mind a full theater, but I don't know. It was a slightly more intimate experience, I suppose. The scene with the Brachiosaurus on the dock. Oh, it was heartbreaking. I, I didn't cry, but I was really close. There was a couple other times where I was really close too. It was just it was just so beautifully done. Kudos to you guys for making us feel that. Apparently some of the other places they felt it a lot more. But uh, you could you could audibly hear people talking just like, "Oh my gosh," you know, stuff like that. It was it was it was a very low quiet yet not quiet moment a moment to to really think and i i like the movie a lot for that so what it what it really comes down to oh except i didn't talk about that okay then there were the indiana jones themes and i know that he's uh, the, the director has stated that he used a lot of indiana jones feeling for references it seeped for me a lot into the music, which gave it a, not a mixed tone, but mixed feelings about it. It wasn't quite getting that, the right vibe. But uh, that being said, I mean, if they made a new Indiana Jones movie with some new casting choices, uh, at least I would be all on board for the, the music and uh, the the feeling of it, cause, cause if they were they were involved, uh, yeah, definitely. And uh, I, I'm surprised they didn't choose a couple different themes, but uh, you know, uh, it, it it is what it is. So in conclusion, or close to conclusion, my. I, I wouldn't even call it the biggest problem, but it but it has to be the biggest problem. Any concerns that the reviewers addressed often had to do with problems already in the franchise. Uh, uh, going back to the first movie, like one minute one of the dinosaurs can do something like smell or see or follow or whatever and the next moment they can't I, I mean they're following the weird canon that they created so there's that there there are more examples but that one's always the one that that sticks with me just uh, it, why can't more people recognize the weird paddock changes for the t-rex in the first movie it's the one thing that I can't suspend. I realize it was purely to get, you know, the scenes before and the scenes after, but I don't how do you, I don't know how you make that work. I just I just don't. <laughs> oh, and don't get me wrong, that's like one of my favorite scenes in the movie, but uh, 
T-Rex can't jump, T-Rex can't climb. How does T-Rex's paddock have concrete bits that are more than several feet high? And yet you can still see most of the dinosaur when he comes up to the fence. I love you guys. Really, I do. JP forever. <laughs> But yeah, so that's that's really the only problems that I have are things relating to uh, the the rest of the franchise. So if you can remember that and I don't know, set it aside because it's it is like the other movies in that case. I I, I found it super enjoyable. It was everything that I could have hoped for in uh, the Jurassic franchise. Uh, I actually liked it better than World. Even though... Because there's a couple of big stupid things in that movie, like like moving everybody to the main street with no cover. Some things, man. I've, put me in charge. Put put anybody that that has better protocols in charge. So that's the one thing that I that I can't get over. I know it's to set up a later scene, but uh, gee, I mean, there's just so many other ways that that they I think that they could have gotten that. Yeah. Oh, phone going off. So. So yeah, that I mean, like I said, I I really enjoyed it, and I felt they were true to the franchise, while also telling a new story. That's what it comes down to for me. So, I hope that one that you've seen it, so this isn't full of spoilers for you, and two that you can take some of this information and decide for yourself whether or not it's it's the right JP movie for you. Yeah? Alright, cool. So I yeah, I give it I give it a solid A. Maybe an A minus, but uh yeah. It's pretty far up there. So until next time, hopefully I'll have something different to put up, but I I, I really had to talk about this one. <laughs> okay. Have a good one. Toodaloo!